Stirling Boiler. Let's try to understand its construction and working. It consists of three straight horizontal steam drums arranged in upper part of the boiler settings and a mud drum arranged in its lower part. The steam drums are radially connected with mud drum by series of bent water tubes. Steam drum 1 is attached with a safety valve. Drum 2 with a pressure gauge. Drum 3 with a feed check valve. And mud drum with a blow-off valve. Water is fed through the feed check valve to the steam drum 3, which then passes through the bent tubes to the mud drum. In the mud drum, the foreign particles get settled down and are removed through the blow-off valve at regular intervals. Thus, pure water passes upwards through the bank of bent tubes to the other drums. Steam drums are also connected with each other by equalizing tubes and circulating tubes. The circulating tubes equalize the level of water in the drums, while the equalizing tubes equalize the level of steam in the drum. The firebox is situated at the bottom left corner of the boiler settings, where the solid fuel is burnt over grate to produce hot flue gases. These flue gases are deflected by the brick arch to move upward between the water tubes. Where the baffle plates are provided to guide the movement of flue gases and ensure proper heating of the water tubes. On absorbing heat, the water flowing in the bent water tubes gets converted into steam. This steam moves upwards and gets collected over the water level in the steam drums. Now saturated steam is extracted from steam drum 2 and supplied to the superheater tubes. This converts the saturated steam into superheated steam which can be taken out from the steam stop valve. Ash produced by the burning of fuel is collected in the ash pit while the smoke is allowed to escape into the atmosphere through a chimney. A damper is installed before the chimney to regulate the air supply into the firebox. Inspection doors are provided in the boilers to inspect its operation on a regular basis. Boiler assembly is suspended on steel girders to enable the boiler drum and water tubes to expand and contract during their operation. This is the complete construction and working of bent tube Stirling boiler.